And I'm coming to you on Wednesday, December the 19th, with just one final word for Wednesday before we finish out 2018. First of all, I want to wish to each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas. I hope that the significance of the birth of the Christ child that we have been waiting for during the season of Advent will renew in you a sense of God's glory and God's eternal life with, that you have as a believer in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I pray that it is a great time of celebration in your congregation and that many people who have not experienced yet the love of Jesus Christ will be able to do so during this season. January starts pretty quickly. I don't know about for you, but it does for me. And so things begin to happen before we really have a chance to turn around and catch our breath once we get back from the holidays. So I wanted to tell you about two things that come up during the first three weeks of January. Uh, the first of these is on January the 15th, which is a Tuesday, we will have our first Vision Day lunch and speakers for uh, 2019. The uh, subject is going to be about multi-ethnic ministry in the life and ministry of our association, as we will take a look under the leadership of uh, Ryan Dupree and Robbie McAllister at the 15 different ethnic fellowships that exist in our associational area and how our churches can begin to talk about reaching out to them. We will also have an emphasis on international students and other people of various countries who are here for a season of time and perhaps becoming permanent residents of our area. Then on Monday, January the 21st, is the Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, celebration each year. And we will be having a Martin Luther King Jr. worship service at St. Andrew's Baptist Church which is uh, on Bush River Road, just off of Broad River Road. And it will begin at 6.30 p.m. And we will have Ranjur Locke, a uh, preaching professor at uh, Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary there. And we will have a combined choir from our various congregations with some significant diversity and other speakers and testimonies that will be given during that day. Again, I hope you have a great Christmas. Be thinking about these two things coming up as it might impact you and, and draw you forward about a vision, about multi-ethnic ministry and celebrating in terms of racial reconciliation and our commitment to one another uh, on the 21st. Have a great day.